hey or a sign so we're going to take a look at the melancholic temperament so if you don't know what that is there will be a link in the description box below where you can take a short temperament quiz to try to get an understanding of your personality some of this may resonate with you may not if it doesn't it's usually because your temperament is a blend um, there are four temperaments and i'll make a video on that but usually i associate the melancholic temperament with the earth signs virgo taurus capricorn and i'll read here a little bit so you can understand why that is now the first thing i have to tell you is that melancholics usually have the highest iq of all of their family so you might be shaking your head saying yep i am pretty smart um Melancholies have the richest of all the temperaments. They are analytical, self-sacrificing, gifted, perfectionist types with a very sensitive emotional nature. No one gets more enjoyment from the fine arts than the melancholy. By nature, they are prone to be introverts, but since their feelings predominate, they are given to a variety of moods. Sometimes they will lift uh, sometimes their moods will lift them to heights of ecstasy that cause them to act more extroverted. However, at other times, they can be gloomy and depressed, and during these periods, they become withdrawn and can be quite antagonistic. Um, they, they're they not the type to seldom put, to push themselves forward to meet people, but they would rather let people come to them. They usually are per, uh, usually are the most dependable of all the temperaments um, because their perfectionist and conscientious tendencies do not permit them to be a shirker or let others down when um, people are counting on them. Their res reticence to put themselves forward is often taken as an indication that they don't care or they don't enjoy others. And like the rest of us, they not only like others, but they have a strong desire to be loved by other people, but they find it difficult to express their true feelings. Disappointing experiences make them reluctant to take people at face value. So because of that, they're prone to be suspicious when others seek them out or shower them with affection. Their exceptional analytical ability causes them to diagnose accurately obstacles and dangers of any project they have a part in planning. Um, this is in sharp contrast to the choleric, who rarely anticipates problems or difficulties, but is confident that they can cope with whatever crisis they may, that may arise. Such a characteristic often finds the melancholy reticent to initiate something new or in conflict with those who wish to do so. Occasionally, in a mood of emotional ecstasy or inspiration, they may produce something great, um, usually <laughs> genius-inspired, but these accomplishments are often followed by periods of low moods. Melancholies usually find their greatest meaning in life through personal sacrifice. It seems uh, desirous of them to sometimes make themselves suffer and they will often choose a difficult situation involving great personal sacrifice. But once it is chosen, they are prone to be very thorough and persistent in their pursuit of it, and more than likely will accomplish great things, if, even if their natural tendency to gripe throughout this the process doesn't get them so depressed that they give, on a, give up on it altogether. Basically, no temperament has so much natural potential uh, than the melancholy. So that's a little bit about the melancholy temperament, which again, uh, I sometimes associate with Virgo, Taurus and Capricorn and a little bit of understanding and I will get into more and leave links below if you would like to learn more about the temperament blends. And I hope this was helpful to you in some way and take care.